Hi friends, well this is day two of daily devotionals. Thank you so much for the comments and feedback from yesterday's post. It is helpful to interact with you and get your feedback so that I can know how best to serve you during these times. You know, a lot of the conversation has been who is God and the importance of looking at who God is and having his character steady us during these uncertain times. And we're going to continue to look at who God is. But I think there's another thing that we need to think about, not just who God is, but who are we in relation to who God is? Like if there is a supreme being who is ruling and reigning over all, then what does that mean for us as people who think that we are part of his kingdom? If he is our king, what does it mean for us to be part of his kingdom when we go through times like this? I've been thinking a lot of a story in the Bible that maybe we don't think about that often. It's it's the story of Esther. Um, Esther was a Jewish girl who got taken from her home um, by a Gentile pagan king who wanted her to be one of his many queens. And so she was taken from her family. The life that she had planned, it's like she gets plucked up and taken off that path and put in a completely different situation. And I think that certainly describes where many of us find ourselves these days. We had plans for how March would go. We had plans for how April would go. We had plans about what we thought we were going to do with our life. And yet we've been plucked up out of that life. And it's like we're put in a completely different life. And that can be confusing. It can be unsettling. But as people who believe that there is a God who is king and we are living in his kingdom, we're never just randomly going through life, bouncing from thing to thing. No, ultimately, we believe there were people who are being moved by God. If we get plucked up out of one life and put into another life, it's not because something random's happened. It's because something God is doing has happened. And so it makes me think about the famous verse in Esther when, when her cousin Mordecai is talking to her and encouraging her, hey, listen, you've been put in a position of promise with the king in order to be an influence on that kingdom. And, and he says to her, you know, in, in Esther chapter 4, uh, verse 14, he says, Do you not know that you could have been placed in the kingdom for such a time as this? Right? Such a time as this. That which looked like to be an interruption in her life was God moving in her life to put her in a position that she would be available to be used by God for such a time as this. In other words, if we believe there is a God who is our king, and we are living in his kingdom, then life is never just something that happens to us. Life is always opportunities that God is giving us. How are you responding right now to what is going on? Are you, do you feel just passive, like life is happening and the hits just keep coming and you don't know which way to go? I've certainly been able to feel that way sometimes. And yeah, I think more and more how God is directing my heart is to help me see, listen, I'm not just sit back passively and just let the hits come to me. No, these are all opportunities that God is giving me, right? This daily devotional is an opportunity that I never would have dreamed about. And yet it's something that God has made clear that this is what he wants us to go through right now. You know, maybe there's opportunities that God is giving you in your life, an opportunity to reach out to a family member that you haven't talked to for years. And as we go through this crisis, this is an opportunity to reach out to them in love and to build bridges. Maybe God's going to give you an opportunity to, to meet a practical need of a neighbor. You, you prepared and you stocked up on food, and now God's going to give you an opportunity to share that food with someone else. Maybe this is an opportunity that God has given you to, to call and check in on someone in the church who... You know, maybe you haven't reached out to before. Maybe they've been on the fringe. And this is an opportunity for you to, to reach out to them in the name of Jesus. I, I truly believe that we were all going on one path, but we've been taken off that path and placed somewhere else for such a time as this. There are unique opportunities that God is going to give us during this season. And so let, let's not just try to get through this. Let's see what God wants to do in this. What does God want to do in you? What does he want to do through you during this time? Are you just trying to get through or are you looking to what God is going to do? Don't just feel like life is just, you're passive and life is happening to you. No, see life as opportunities that God is giving you to be proactive, opportunities that God is giving you to minister.
What are the moments of ministry that God is putting in front of you? How can you help and love your fellow human being during this time? I'd encourage you to pray about that. I'd encourage you to think about that. I'd encourage you to pick up the phone and have a conversation with someone and talk about that. How are you someone who is prepared by God for such a time as this? God bless you. I hope that gives you something to chew on and think about and pray for. I'll see you tomorrow. Amen.